So good morning, everyone. So welcome to our class in ethics. So let's move on to the last part of our lesson in midterm. Um, along with the lesson chapter two, uh, lesson three, which is entitled the stages of moral development. So it has uh, intended learning outcomes. So first is to describe each stage of moral development and evaluate uh, one's personal growth against stages of personal development. So excuse me if I type sa evaluate my work. So the introduction is every human person has developed a moral character. We have our own moral character, so depending how the development all throughout, through our childhood years up to our adult years, within our society and throughout our family. So the facility to act morally and ethically is in his or her head. So depending on your behavior or character as uh, what you are. So, what are the stages of moral development that a human person as a moral agent undergoes? So let us find out later what are those um, stages of uh, moral development. Okay, so moral development uh, refers to the process through a human person gain in his or her benefits. Excuse me for that typo. Skills and dispositions that makes him or her a moral mature person. So talking about uh, moral development, so it is all about our morality from infancy through adulthood, as I mentioned earlier. Then it is across a lifetime. And of course, our moral uh, behavior is influenced by an individual's experiences and behavior with, when faced with moral issues. So example of a moral development will make you to have a better understanding of any moral development. Okay, so, so people at this level of moral development base their decision on what their parents. So sometimes kanang, ang atong development is ma affect due to the um, influence of your parents when it comes to your decision making. Important yun niya how to stand on our own. But because of our parents' influence, therefore, it affects how our moral um, behavior develops throughout the years. Just like a um, um, student who cheat on tests are bad, so I will not cheat. So therefore, if your parents taught you that cheating is bad, Therefore, when you grow older, you grow mong adulthood, therefore, you will be able to understand that cheating is bad at all. Therefore, you will not go into cheat because that's how your parents taught you. Then, moral development is the process throughout which children develop proper attitude. And behavior toward other people in society based on social and cultural norms, rules, and laws. Of course, a moral development concerned of every parents. In sa may diliganahan nga parents nga yung anak utan, morally responsible, di ba? So, of course, naji factor ang imong society when it comes to shaping your attitudes as a whole. So, therefore, um, 
sa bata pa ka, dapat uh, you are thoughtfully uh, nurtured with your parents. So, there are the different types of stages of moral behavior. I know, stages of behavior. First is by tab. So, what, is that, what does it mean when you say by tab? So, by tab is those who were prohibited, restricted by social customs. So, example of the culture that you know, being restricted na mga restriction when it comes to their peers or their members of the culture is those Muslim communities. You know, they are forbidden from eating pork. Diba? Kay Murad, kung ano sa ilang dapat ang ilang pagkaon halal certified. Then of course, abortion, addiction, and sexual um, sex is prohibited if dili ka ka sa if dili ka um, nasa tama nga edad or so uh, tayo na ustad dili pa ka capable of doing sex then another one is by law so of course rule and law are established uh, by an organization or community just to regulate um, the people living in a certain community so just like in our country diba Rules and laws are being established not just to restrict the freedom or sa mga tao, but because to maregulate na, na dapat dihita ng freedom, freedom is absolute. Nagyuntay ka ng limitation at all times. Another one is the by consents. Consents. So, we say the conscience is, is the sense of consciousness of the moral goodness or blameworthiness of one's own conduct or character with a feeling of obligation to do right or good. So, money atong consensya. No? Just like um, pahubuhaton mo ugtas for the sake of your conscience. Um, Makonsensya ka nga Dili ni mo siya tagaan it because uh, nakabuhat siya na kung pabor sa inyo ha. Jump, another one is ka na po. Um, Makonsensya ka nga wala ni mo tagaan ang pobre nga tao knowing nga na ako po. It's a form of by consents. Consents. So there are four, two forms of consents. First is the irrational and the introjected values. So when you say irrational, it is um, lacking a uh, lacking usual or normal clarity of coherence. Just like um, kanang dili ka mo kanang di ka maminaw sa rason or logic or open common sense. And then sometimes um, kanang kanang dili ka maminaw o rason. And that person is according to my research is very dangerous. Another one is the introjected values. So it is unconsciously adapt the ideas or attitude of others. Introjected values. Meaning, ang mga values na adapt na to from our parents, from our peers, from our society. So that's the uh, process of introjection. No? Concerning with the way in which people absorb aspects of their parents attitudes na attitude nga nasa imong parents nga um sige so na more unconsciously masundog nimo no? so that's introjected values so another one is by reciprocity sa so, dinhi siya so by reciprocity is the practice of exchanging things with others for mutual benefits, especially kanagitong privileges granted by one country or by organization to another. So to make it um, simpler, kanang um, nihatag ka o um, 
Teka nga na. In exchange of your um, teka nga na, utang kabubutun, you are doing things to a certain person para murag in return sa iyang nahatag sa inyo. Something like that. So, to make it simpler sub, so in the law of represent, in the law of reciprocity, so it is basically ways that when someone does something nice, nga daw nag um, pakita, nga daw tao nagpakita sa imo o maayo, so for you, you will have a deep-rooted psychological um, urge to do something nice in return. Just like what I said nga, kung ang tao nagpakita ang maayo ni mo, dapat in return, mo in exchange of sa iyong gratitude, dapat pakita ko ka privilege or something benefits in return sa That's the law of reciprocity. Another one is by consensus, by social consensus. So when we say consensus is general agreement, meaning to say the general agreement of the society. So it is the type of social norm, which uh, most generally ag an agreement or an, a collective uh, unanimous opinion among a number of persons or an idea or opinion that is shared by all people in a group. Meaning to say, you cannot decide unless those persons involved agree with your idea. So another one, the last one is the personal moral principle. So it is by moral principle as an individual, our own personal principle. So it is a belief that Tell us what is right from wrong. When you actually know the principles of doing right from wrong, then you are uh, morally, uh, morally abide, uh, with morally abide with uh, individual. Okay, you are accepting uh, that it, you are doing the principles of right and wrong. That is uh, um, accepted by an individual or social group. So let's proceed to the five stages, maybe reduced into three stages. So first is the amoral stage, the pre the pre-moral stage, and the personal stage and the moral stage person. So this is um uh, the and Lawrence Colbert stages of moral development. Okay. So let's find them one. Uh, let's define them one by one. So what is the amoral stage? So amoral stage. So it is the lowest level of organizational development, of course, in Amoran organization. So at this level, the only concern uh, the organization has is for the profit. And it will break any ethical or moral rules in the pursuit of their profit. Kanagitang murag, kana mga businessmen, they don't, um, they don't care about their employees. They only care for their profit. So that's the amoral stage. And typically, this, this won't last long. So it, it involves mga egocentric, mga self-centered na mga tao. Um, hedonist or kind of the, a person who believe that um, that a person uh, Ang hedonist is kanang ang yung pagtuwis that pleasure daw ang pinaka-importante na uh, butang sa, sa katao. And then the prudential coordination. So next is the pre-amoral stage. 
uh, anyway, ang kanilang amoral stage, it is the pre-conventional stage according to according to Holberg's sorry pangalan sorry ha Holberg's uh, Lawrence Holberg's okay so another one is the pre-moral stage or the conventional stage so ang tali ni siya pre-moral pre-moral stage so it is a scene in Jin Yaji theory of moral development. So this stage at which young children under age of five are unaware of rules as cooperative agreements. So muna na mga stage nga, ang mga bata, hindi pa sila aware sa ilang mga action. So that is why they are unable to distinguish right from wrong. So therefore, wakas yung sinakabalo unsay mali o pang. So that's a um, pre-moral stage. So they are authoritarian, ego, idealist, social and reciprocal consideration. So then in the reciprocal consideration. So it is an obligation in which party to perform his promise and to actually accept performance of others' uh, promises. Pakan mo ng bata nga, once mo ingon ka niya, palitan mo siya ang duwaan. So, dapat i-fulfill ko na ni mo. Kay, di gina mawala sila ko po. Balik-balik ko, hindi ka nangyayagpalit. Hindi lang itong duwaan. So, muna yung stage sa mga bata. So, the last one is the moral stage. Uh, more, the moral third stage, which is uh, based on the human capacity to direct one's life according to the rational principle. So, muna ni ang mga tao nga na sense of morality. Malo na sila o sa mali o tama. Uh, in terms of more abstract principles and values. So, therefore, they are bounded with values. Malo na sila o sa tama o mali. No? They are responsible with their actions. So, these are the um, personal, autonomous, altruistic, rational, independent, and responsible uh, considerations. So that's uh, the moral stage. So, muna ni siya ang Colbert stage of moral development. Muna ni siya. So, moral development is refers to the process through which a human gain, a human person gain his or her beliefs, skills, and disposition that makes him a morally mature individual. So I, as, as what I've said that this is the stage from uh, from infancy to adulthood. Iyang na develop throughout um, uh, throughout the years sa person. So, naigi ko andring a level one, which is the pre, uh, pre-conventional morality. Okay, so level one, pre-conventional morality. So, one in us level ang ingon nga lang uh, self-interest. So, young children under the age of uh, nine, year old, nine years old. So, this is the lowest level of moral development in um, Lawrence Colbert's theory. So, at this pre-conventional level, don't have a personal code of morality. So, wala pag sila kabalo sa itama o mali. Instead, their moral code is controlled by the standards of adults and the consequences of following or breaking adult rules. So, nagdepende ang ilang moral, um, ilang character or ilang personality, how their adults or their parents control them. And then when they don't fulfill the standards, of course, nagyo consequences of breaking their rules. So authority is outside the individual and reasoning is based on the physical consequences of action. So examples are 
Tenang. I would not cheat if I know I wouldn't. If I knew I wouldn't get caught. I, I would cheat rather. Sorry, sorry. I would cheat if I knew I wouldn't get caught. Um, Nangupya daw siya. Kung kabalo siya nga, dili, kung kabalo ba, kung kabalo siya nga, dili siya masaktan. Then, I let you copy mine if you do my homework. Okay. So, muna na stage, ang gawin nila nga, pre-conventional. Okay. So, naging undrinal nila nga stage 1 along with a pre-conventional morality. So, ang stage 1 or the obedience and punishment orientation. So, from 2 to 3, from 2 to 3 years old up to 5 to 6 years old. So, the child or individual does good in order to avoid uh, being punished. So, marito kong example kayo na sorry. So, if he or she is punished, uh, he or she must have done wrong. Children obey because adults tell them to obey. Just a kato kong example de ka inasode. Nga, I would shit if I knew I wouldn't get caught. Um, and the child is kanang uh, magbuat siya maayot because if daily, he will be, he or she will be punished by his wrong action or wrong, do, wrong doings. Right? Because that's adult taught them na um, you must obey in order for you not to be punished. So another stage is the um, instrumental orientation. So from age 5 to 7 years old up to, up to 9 years old. So from um, instrumental orientation, so right behavior is defined by whatever the individual believes to be in his or her best interest. What it want it, uh, what in it for me? So in this stage, there are limited interests in the needs of others, only to point where it might further the individual's own interest. So it's a matter of you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours mentality. So just like ito kung gimension gaya ng example niya, I let you copy mine if you do my homework. So that's nagamit bito ka. So that's intro, instrumental orientation. So that's uh, this uh, that's uh, the two stage along with the pre-conventional uh, morality or the self-interest stage or level. Self-interest level. So another level is the convention. So conventional mo nagingo nila nga social approval level. So from 7 to 12 up to 10 to 15 year old, years old. So throughout the conventional morality, so it is a child's sense of morality is tied to personal and societal relationships. So it is the children continue to accept the rules of authority figures, but this is now due to their belief that it is necessary to endure, endure positive relationship and social order. So it is characterized by an acceptance of social rules, especially from right and wrong. Then it is the time where we begin to internalize uh, the moral standards and valued uh, role model. So, sa diri na nato ma sometimes ma realize or ma internalize ang um, maayo. Uh, dapat uh, mabuhat kag maayo it's because that's ha, how our society uh, needs us to be. Ganang, uh, there are rules and regulations that we need to follow because to regulate the action of the uh, people the people in the society okay, wala yung loss and regulation of course may may tabo ng mga chaos so so it has stage stage 3 so good boy good boy nice girl orientation so from age 7 and 12 
years old. So in this stage, children want the approval of others and act in ways to avoid disapproval. So emphasize is placed on good behavior and people being nice to others. The individual is good in order to be seen as being as good person as by others. Example lang ni Iska nang, I'm not going to tell because I want her to like me. Example is ka nang, you want magpapansin ka sa imong crush. You show how nice you are as an individual, as a person, para ma-appreciate po ka in return sa mga tao. Especially if nakay tao nga gusto ni mong ma-impress sa inyong person. You're trying to be a nice or to be a good boy. I do that one. Then the last one, is, uh, the next is the stage four or the law of law and order on your patient. So it is uh, from 10 to 15 years old. So the child or individual becomes aware of the wider rules of society. So aware na ka sa mga rules, wider rules of the society. So judgment concerns of be obeying the rules in order to upload the law and to avoid guilt. So it is a matter of I have to do this because the law says so. Dili kay um, buhato na ko ni kay I just like yung kanang buhato ni mo ni maayot because more gusto sa atong balao. Kaya kung dili may consequences in return. So it is a blind abuse to the law also moralistic lacks of internalization. So it is the right thing to do School's rule says so as reason for going to school as stage four. So just like um, you can't do that because the teacher say, said no. So kung namin itong um, dili, ko, dili, ta mag, uh, dili ta magpabandong or something na ita magbanabanha ito. The teacher said we must stay good inside the classroom. So what the school says so, what is this the right thing to do? That we need to abide the law. Oriented na ta. Kaninga stages, oriented na. Ang tao when it comes to law and law. So the next level is the the next uh, level is the post-conventional morality. So this is uh, the full, so full internalization of this. Uh, nanay ka ng existing of thoughts and ideas. Nana kay sense of moral when you come to your actions. Nana kay theory, what is good from bad. So morality is completely internalized and not, not, and not based on external standards. Internalized na yun ni mo kung ang maayo o dili. So individual judgment is based on self-esteem. Principles and reasoning is based on individual's rights and justice. According to Fulbridge, this level of moral reasoning is far as most people get. So this is a uh, re rarely seen uh, before college years. So it has stages. The stage five, uh, stage five, and stage six. So first is in the stage five, which is the social contract orientation. So the child has. Uh, the child or individual becomes aware that the rule or loss might exist for the good of the greatest number. Diba? Kana marelet ni mga ay may di ay na na yun ibala o it's because for the benefits of all, common good. So there are times when they will work against the interests of the particular individual, especially at kabalo na kasa mali o tama. So mo contradict na good kana. Sa hay maayu ang lo. Pero sa hybrid, hindi siya maayos because nasya ka ng rub. 
tambal pa by the body facts contra of contradictions kumbaga so in this level individual reason out that values rights and principles transcend the law kaya nito makabalo na ka nga kani uh, okay man siya nga no pero um, it the role might be wrong so something na nakai panglantaw nga dapat usa ko ano og i-revise ni nga do ta moral dili ni siya maayo kana nakai region uh, kanang moral capacity to uh, identify that the role the existing law must be modified change kay pananaw ni mo moral na ina violate na rights and principles sa uh, mga tao Then the stage six, which is the universal ethical principle, a universal ethical principle orientation. So individual at this stage have they have developed their own set of moral guidelines, which may or may not fit the law. They have developed moral judgment that are based on universal human rights. So the principles apply to everyone. Uh, example is that. Uh, you shouldn't lie because it violates the universal law. Diba? Universal rule. Okay, diba? uh, nasa, ma, nasa atong biblical rule na uh, thou shall not uh, thou shall not steal, thou shall not cheat, thou shall not commit adultery. So that's a uh, golden rule. Uh, universal um, principles that applicable to everyone. Makabalong nga kang Dili ka mamasang, it's because you are violating the uh, golden rule or the biblical rule of God. So the development of conscience, conscience based moral decision. Kabalo so, naman mo nga, ang conscience is the inner feeling or, or inner, inner feeling or voice. And the voice within yourself. So the moral development uh, in, uh, includes the development of conscience-based decision. So this is the post-conventional um, level of cold bird states of moral development. So according to Panizo, he defined conscience as an act of practical judgment of reason deciding upon the individual action as good and to be performed and as evil and to be So, kapuan mo anang uh, before mo mag-decision, dapat based on your concerns. Para nang uh, example ha, sa gugma. Gugma ta tayo, ngayon yung favorite na pala. <laughs> Knowing that uh, the person you love has a, girl, has a girlfriend or boyfriend na already. But then, he or she courted me. And then, It's because na na kayo na-develop na feeling ang um, kanamuragisod na ihawa. And of course, you need to decide na whether to continue or not. It is, oh, it is um, based upon your consent siya. Kung makontinue pa ba ka, knowing that you are, you know, you are wrong na paligis ka o tao because emotionally, di ba, Okay, pag once masakpan mo, either you are punishable by law or even or maulawan pa mo sa inyong society. Diba? Especially karon nga, uso na ang social media. Pwede na ma-post, pwede na mo ma-post anytime. Narabi to, mga decision based on your consent siya. So, let's proceed to the So again, ang kaning ang kanidong conscience, no, it is the inner or the little voice of God. No, 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 no. ato dong conscience siya, mo daw niya itong inner, our little voice of God. So the formation of conscience. So whatever it is, conscience, conscience, Sorry, ako magisod ko ubuan. Litos. <laughs> so, corresponding therefore to the prior discussion on moral development is the formation of conscience. Or conscience. 
So what then is meant when it's when it is said that the consents consents must be formed? So first is the dapat in your conscience formation begins with a deep-seated decision to seek moral uh, Before ka mag-decide on certain things, dapat ay uh, mo sagid ng huna-huna on third if that is uh, morally right or wrong. So one adapt as a way of life to have the habit of seeking out answer to question about right and wrong. We're uh, persevering in that trust until one arrives at a state of moral certainty. So after the having made the most sustainable effort possible to arrive at those answers. So, um, sahay, um, pag mag-decision ta, aside from uh, our consents or um, self-talk ta, if we're going to do or some to do or pursue anything, di ba, mas maayos ha, if natay ka ng um, something peer or friend to talk, you're about uh, your dilemmas in life. Mas tindot na itong nakay ka ng kapiyalan ng tao eh, in, you know, before deciding something in their life. Di ba, mas tindot na yun na. So, of course, always involve nga involved in your thought. Dapat na involved good in your concerns. At the end of the day, ikaw nang gihapo yung decision sa imong kinabuhi. Then, second is a sound conscience. Consents must stand on the firm uh, foundation of integrity. So, dapat ang imong konsensya good is for the truth, for the honesty. Sincerity and portraitness. Duplicity Personal inconsistency and dishonesty undermine any hope of forming a property uh, functioning consensus. Kaya di ba sa hay makonsensya, mong yun ka uy, na kita nga tao, we are uh, rationally makonsensya yun ka. Labi nag, ang bitang, one mo anang may pobre ni doon ninyo. Kaya kay, one man siya, hugaw, baho, luod. No, when I'm saying, hey, I'm happy to you. But, you know, after after realizing or internalizing the fact that you are now tana, you are helping that certain person, but because of your kind of pride, I mean, you go shy, when she's back. At the end of the day, I'm concerned about that. You know, I'm not going to be able to do that. What if I don't have a job? What if I don't have a job? What if I don't have a job? What if so, nanagitaw. So, dapat um, our consent must stand on truth, integrity, and honesty. So, the third is dapat atong konsensya and formation is sustained by the habit of consistency. So, dapat habitual and consistent ta sa atong konsensya. So, educating oneself but exposure to objective moral norms and the rational Rationale behind those norms. So that's why ang atong konsensya yun, uh, we need a guide. Ano man a guide? We, na, we need a church, church moral teaching. So I myself, um, I admit na dilibid ko um, si Tawana, uh, hinimbahon. But of course, I do believe God. And I do believe the existing word of God for us. Okay, so we need a guide from our church. Because, you know, church, a church, a priest taught us what are the moral things. Magiyahan or guidan ng buta sa mga maayo. Maayong butang na ato dapat na tahapon. Certainly, the word of God enlightened us. Uh, by uh, the divine revealed law. And um, not I something we discover after we hear those uh, moral teaching from the church. Not I discover Okay, and of course, that will leave or lead us genuinely, fulfilling as a human. Fulfilling yun, makadungog ka sa word of God. 
Tama ba po? Okay, and that's end of my our lesson in um, lesson three, the stages of moral development. So thank you for your time and God bless everyone.